Hey guys, we're doing another 2024 election prediction, um, but this time it's going to be the possible 2024 Democratic primary matchup. So this matchup is between three people. I usually do more, but, you know, Democratic primary is going to be less people, I think, than 2020 and 2024. And this is in the case without Biden. So Biden, you know, the incumbent president, he is not there. So, the matchup is Kamala Harris versus Bernie Sanders versus Pete Buttigieg. Now, Kamala Harris is the current vice president, of course, seen as an establishment Democrat, really, um, former senator from California, right? Uh, Bernie Sanders is the famous um, v- Vermont senator, says he is a democratic socialist and is extremely progressive. He ran for president in 2016 and 2020, lost both times. Um, I don't know if he will be in the right health. Um, in 2024 to run, but I'm assuming that he will be, and he campaigns like normal, all of that. Pete Buttigieg is the very young me- uh, former mayor of South Bend, Indiana, and he is now the Secretary of Transportation He uh, in the Biden administration. He um he, he really became big in 2020. He, no one really knew him until 2020 when he ran for president. That really boosted his popularity, but um, but overall, um, yeah, he I don't think he would be very strong and I might later do a Harris Sanders matchup and a Biden Sanders matchup. So this is the scenario where Joe Biden is gone. Something happened to him. Either he died or he isn't in right health to run. Anything like that. Um and you know when you think of Biden's successor you generally think of Kamala Harris. So she um is it is gonna be a tight race, but mostly between Harris and Sanders. But Judge has a very little of a chance, but you know, of course, because of um how, you you know how um because Harris is the former vice president. Going to home states for uh Sanders is uh home state Vermont would go to him. Um, California would go to Harris because that is her home state, and Booty Judge would win his home state of Indiana. Um. Let's start in the Northeast here. Um, I think Harris would win New York just because this is a very establishment type state where, you know, this is where Hillary Clinton comes from. And they don't tend to vote for Bernie Sanders. They're not as progressive. They're more generally liberal than uh, progressive. Um, I think that Bernie would carry Maine. Oops. Um, and I think that Bernie would carry... For uh, Maine and Massachusetts as well, these are the most. Or uh, these are more. These are um also liberal states. Or I'm sorry, progressive states. They you know they went to him in 2016 and um maybe 2020. I'm not sure, but I definitely think he would win those two. But New Hampshire, Connecticut, and Rhode Island are a bit more liberal rather than progressive. So I think those states would go to Harris. Um, I also think New Jersey would go to Harris with the high African American population. Um, and I also think that Delaware would be a Harris state just because um you know. She has the closest ties to the former, or in this case, the former president, but I mean Joe Biden. And Biden comes from Delaware, and I think that she could also carry Maryland because of that. Um, Virginia is a pretty liberal state. I could definitely see it going to Harris. Um, Harris, or I'm sorry, Bernie would carry Alaska and Hawaii, I think, surely. These are also both progressive states, definitely the Democrats in it. You know, Alaska is pretty conservative, but the Democrats in there are pretty progressive. Um... Um, I, I see Sanders winning Oregon, but Harris carrying Washington, but sa- same reasons at the Northeast, why I situated the Northeast. Oregon is a bit more progressive rather than liberal, and Washington is a bit more liberal rather than progressive, you know, especially with a governor like Jay Inslee in Washington. I definitely see this as a Harris state, more establishment, this more of an establishment type state. Um, and, uh, yeah, I also see Harris winning Nevada, Arizona, and New Mexico. You know, Bernie is going to be popular in this kind of uh, Midwestern region, you know, rural region here. But, um, but I do think these are Harris states because they're close to California. People know who she is. And they are going to have the same values. You know, they're going to share mostly the same beliefs. I think that they would, that Harris would just be more appealing to voters here than Bernie. But Bernie really is going to carry the rest of this area. He's going to carry Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, North and South Dakota, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, uh, Utah, Colorado. These are very progressive. Um, this is a very progressive region. Um, well, it, I shouldn't say that uh, for the Democrats. Um, 
it is a very progressive region, not really um anywhere else, or, you know, the Republicans and Independents aren't very, but, you know, this is Sanders' territory. He won it in 2016, not 2020, just because Joe Biden was on a rampage, you know, after, after his victory in South Carolina, no one could really stop him anywhere, but, um, but I could see, yeah, or I definitely see this region going for him. Uh, Kamala Harris, I think, would carry Texas just because of her, you know, she is an African-American woman. Um, she is going to win the strong minority population here that Biden won't necessarily capture. Um, in a state like Texas, I think in a state like Texas, African-Americans and Latinos would choose Harris over Sanders. Um, I think she would also carry Minnesota, this, you know, with a senator like Amy Klobuchar. This is a very establishment-type state, not really fit for Bernie Sanders. Um... I see Bernie winning Iowa. Um, you know, in the twenty twenty Iowa caucus, um, it was hard to count the votes. You know, there's a technology, there's a, t- uh, technical diff, uh, problem, technical problem, but they really couldn't decide one winner. But it was either Sanders or Buttigieg they found. But um, Elizabeth Warren was pretty popular in the Midwest, right? Um, and and Warren actually took a bunch of votes away from Bernie. So I do think that. You know, with the Warren votes, without the vote splitting, um, that Sanders would beat Buttigieg, essentially. You know, I really do think so. Um, then Missouri would definitely be Harris territory. Um, you know, minority population here. Um, but a very, but a much of a Biden state, you know, in the primary, not in the general election, but in the primary, right? Um, Illinois. I think would be a hair state because, uh, you know, Obama comes from here. I think Obama would actually endorse Kamala Harris in this primary, or at least want him, um, you know, definitely because he has, because Obama has ties to Biden and Biden has ties to Harris, right? Um, moving up to Wisconsin, I think that this would be a Sanders state. This is more of a rural region, and as we know, um, Democrats in rural regions um tend to be very progressive. Um, I think that. Uh, that Harris, this puts her at the verge of victory, would win Michigan because the, because of the high African American population, because of the high minority population. Many cities here might definitely think that this would be a Harris state. Um, and really, um, I would say this entire South, including Kentucky, would all be uh would all go to Harris. Um. Would I give Florida to her? Um, I'm gonna have to give Florida to to, and Harris would win DC. But I'm gonna have to give Florida to Bernie, cause Bernie, you know, is gonna be more popular in cities. But anyway, um, the South besides Florida, I'm you know, of course, that's very much Harris territory. It was Biden, um, who won it by landslide in 2020. But that was just because Harris had dropped out of the race already. So you know, as an African American, she's gonna win this uh region by a wide margin. It's not gonna even be a contest here. Um, Booty Judge, I actually see carrying Ohio. He hasn't taken many states so far, but I definitely see him winning Ohio. Well, I shouldn't say definitely. I think it'd be very close. But I see him with a shot in Ohio just because, you know, it's right next door from Indiana. Plus, he has this rural appeal, this, you know, kind of like a conservative appeal, basically. But, um, you know, coming from Indiana, all that. And looking back, I'm actually going to give Kentucky to him as well for these same reasons. Um, I think Sanders would carry the state of West Virginia. He won every county in 2016, um, and he did great in 2022. Um, I don't see any competition here. But lastly, Pennsylvania. Harris has already won, but um, we still need to do Pennsylvania. Who do I think would win this one? It's definitely between Sanders and Harris. Um, I will have to do a Harris state because there are more suburbs um, that Harris, I think, would perform a little bit uh, better on, especially with suburban moms. I think they sh- they would turn out heavily for her, ultimately granting her victory in the Democratic primary. You know, it, this is electoral votes, but it really will play out the same because, you know, electoral votes are based off of states' populations, and so are delegates. So I do think that it wouldn't be much of a t- contested convention um, at all. And Harris would win. Um, she has just to, you know, give you a comparison, she has 370 electoral votes here. Uh, Bernie Sanders has 131, and that orange is Buttigieg with 37. So, Harris wins by wide margins. All right, it's really not even any competition, and I could see Harris winning Florida, and that gives her almost 40 or 400 electoral votes, but I will leave Florida in the Bernie column. I just don't think that Harris would do well in a state like Florida. 
So, that wraps up today's video. I can't let Harris wins. And thank you guys so much for watching this, and I hope to see you next time.